Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to create the counter sink. This is the third video in this series and we're going to focus specifically on this opening right here. A couple of things that you'll notice right away is if you look at the section view here that this hole does not go all the way through. It goes halfway through, so that's a depth of one inch. And we also actually know that's three quarters of an inch because this is a one and a half inch tall block. Okay, so one three quarters of an inch down. And also how do we go through and read these symbols here? Okay, so what we have at this countersink are a couple of things. First of all, we have a diameter of 0.375 inches. That's three eighths of an inch. And it goes a depth of one inch. And so what they're telling us then, there we go, that's the dimension we need. The dimension tells us here is that this hole from the top of the surface down to the very bottom is one inch out of the one and a half inches total for the block. Okay, we also see here that we have to be able to apply a dimension to the top of the countersink, this angled portion right here. And the way that we typically do that is to say a couple of things. First of all, what is the diameter of the opening at the very top? So in other words, this large circle at the top, what's its diameter? And that is 0.75 inches in this case. We have the countersink symbol with this like downward arrow here. That tells us that it's a countersink, and it tells us that there's an angle of 82 degrees, which is one of the standard angles for all the machine screws that are created. So you're going to see that a lot if we ever have a countersink. So how do we go through and create that? You may want to, you know, if you're in my class, you may want to go ahead and write down those dimensions because you will need them later on, okay? But let's go through and let's create back here. We just finished with the counter bore. We still have sketch two visible right now. If it's not visible and it looks like this, you need to click on the light bulb so that we can see all these points across here. I'm gonna hit H for hole. I'm gonna choose the third point. Now it goes back and it selects all of this items here are the same thing that we did last time with the counter bore. So I just need to go through and change them one by one. We're gonna change this to a counter sink. The depth is no longer all the way through. So we're going to change the extent of the countersink down to a distance. And the distance in this particular case is going to be a depth of 1. So you can now see by changing that it does no longer goes all the way through the material, which is what we want. Okay. The diameter of the opening, we're going to go back here. Let's look at it. The diameter is 0.375, so that's nice. That one's already the same as the counter bore, so we can leave that. The tip angle refers to the bottom. That is not the 82 degrees. That's up down here at the bottom for the drill tip itself is what it's talking about. So we're going to leave that one. The countersink diameter, though, we are going to change to 0 0.75 inches. And the countersink angle, it says, is 82 degrees. So we're going to leave that. We click OK. And we are done. So you have the countersink now completed. And I'm going to make one more video in just a second. It's going to talk about this last hole, how to create a hole, and then thread it. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.